Right. Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever episode of Coffee Time. This is a series where I'll be reviewing coffee from all walks of life and in doing so exploring places I've never been. So I'll get a latte in every video. I'm gonna rate artwork, texture, taste, rate them all out of 10 and then we'll come up with an overall rating out of 10. Boom! And that will be the rating for the video. So without further ado, let's let's skip all the bullshit. Let's get into this video. And um, today we're going to Fisborough and we're going to Bang Bang Coffee. Enjoy. Welcome to Fisbro, a sprawling civilization, home to some of the world's most iconic monuments. It is referred to regularly as the Las Vegas of Dublin, due to the built up landscape and its luxurious casinos. Nothing spells out a life of luxury more than Bang Bang Coffee and Michelin star restaurant Kung Fu Buffet. A night in McGowan's followed by a feast in that place, my god, I can't think of anything better to cleanse the soul. We arrived here, eager to find out more. Oh, sorry everyone, how's he's getting on? Welcome back to Coffee Time with me, Kieran. And today, uh, I'm sat here on the canal, not about to jump in for anyone worried. Really just to uh, drown my sorrows after a tough week. You know, I just seen the pay slip. I seen, I seen the pay slip uh, I just got and I said, uh, you know, uh, Dutch gold is a must on a day like this. New branding for them, by the way. Shout out to Dutch Gold. Uh, sponsor me if you want. Although, that would probably end badly for all of us. Um, but anyway, we're sat here. Uh, a lovely day in uh, Fisbro, uh, Dublin. Dublin, I think we are in Dublin. In fact, we are going to review Bang Bang today. Bang Bang, very parked off. Uh, I think they sponsor Bose in some shape or form. So we're going to see what that's all about. Um, hopefully you get an interview with the uh, owner. If not, I just hope to try some, uh, some some lovely coffee in general. So without further ado, everyone, let's jump into it. Not into the canal, but into the video. And uh, yeah, bang, 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 bang. So in we went. I did not manage to interview the owner and about the involvement with Bose. Just had a nice little look see around. It was very artsy inside and out. Lots of political stances everywhere. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't do politics really. But you know what, the pastries were lovely, um, very aesthetic. There's Woody, you got a friend in me. And uh, bows as well, lots of bows stuff around. Always anti-fascist. And I even seen Mary Lou in there as well. Anyway, it was time to review the coffee Bang Bang had to offer. And for a bit of scenery, we marched on to an old stomping ground, Shannon Park, a true can drinking pillar of my youth. So uh, we've just arrived at a a local bench of, of sorts. There's a uh, rolly on the floor, which uh, quite a pleasant surprise walking up to this aesthetic location. I'm here with a beautiful latte, as you would have seen the artwork. It's it's nice. It was nice, you know, and that's that's something we are scaling on. And um, so I did like I did like the artwork. A little a nice little maple sort of shape. And the artwork of the cup. I'm just gonna come a bit closer here. And um, it's a nice cup. You know, there's not much design to it though. It's sort of minimalistic. I I do like that. So yeah, I think I give the artwork a solid 9.1 um, out of 10. We'll move into the texture and taste now. Quickly on the price front, it's 3.40 to get yourself a coffee and bang bang. So, uh, you know, decent price, especially in this inflated environment we're living in at the moment. So yeah, texture, first of all. It's very smooth, it's very smooth off the tongue. Straight away, texture is lovely. I give that one an 8.9, so there you go. Um, texture, very nice. And now finally, taste. So we're going to be scaling taste. I think that's the most important thing, generally. You know? So here you go. Straight away, the beans. They taste good, man. They taste really nice. Um, not too bitter, which I find, I despise when a coffee's too bitter. There's nothing worse than when they make it too strong. It's not the best coffee I've tasted in the world. Like, I'm going to be honest, it's not the best. You know, I tasted better, I'll give it an 8.3. So there you go, artwork gets a 9.1, texture 8.9, taste 8.3. So uh, generally a fantastic coffee. I'm gonna balance out the score right here. Bang Bang Coffee in Fizzbro gets an 8.8 .8 out 
out of 10. Get your coffee in Bang Bang, Fizbro. I hope you enjoyed the spoof on this beautiful, um, I'd say a nice Friday afternoon. It's a beautiful day out here. And I'm going to go and get myself another can because it is Friday after all. And I'm an alcoholic. So I will see you in the next video. Sending love, peace, as always. Best of luck, Kieran's out, baby.